Greg. What time is it? It's peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly oh. time. This weekend, we went to one of our favorite places. Signature India Signature restaurant and bakery. Up in O'Fallon. Missouri. Missouri. And saw one of my subscribers, favorite people who always hooks us up, Sharat. 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 <laughs> you know who we're talking we know, about. You know. We know. And but, we know you know. But he, last time we went there, we went and got our Indian desserts that we did a video on. Cool cakes. Mm. That was your favorite. They Don't get the, me started on the cool cakes. The galab jalams and all that kind of stuff, right? But they told us, Sharat, Sharat told us mm -hmm. that we should come back for the buffet. He did. They have at lunchtime an Indian buffet, so we went back to it with our friends. First and then, time. I've ever had an Indian buffet. Here's what it looks like. Here's what it looks like. There's the buffet over there. Where we get the close up of. But look at all the people in here on a Saturday on a Saturday afternoon. There's Greg chowing down. And we ever. went with our friends who love Indian food. They do. They're fans. They love Indian food. So they've been to this buffet before and not only did they tell us stuff, but we talked to uh, Charette again. Charette and Charette. I think it's he showed Charette. us on some of the stuff. He did, and there were other patrons there helping us too. You have to start down here on the buffets, and then oh, they even have. Well, I'm gonna record a little bit of this stuff, and then you'll edit. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but is this for like sauces or like yeah. soups? Whatever you want. They saw that we were new to this, mm -hmm. and we weren't sure where to go and what to start with. On the buffet, and they were like, "Oh, you need to get some of that's that." That's how the some Indian culture is. They're sweet Very and they're nice. Some of the nice. Very nice. So let's talk about the buffet. Okay, let's. First, when you go in there, it's separated. They have the veggie, vegetarian side, and the non-vegetarian side. So this is the non-vegetarian side. We have the glaucoma. We have this over there. Is the that's really good. That stuff over there. We got gorgon juan chicken. So this is all the the meat, the meat loving side. And then we have the non veggie side. Here's the non veggie. But this no, this is the vegetable side. This is the vegetable. This is the non veggie side. Right here we got the the man. Done. So I noticed first on the vegetarian side, they had this stuff, I have a picture of it, called Papadam. Man, I thought they were just some delicious nachos. I, I was looking chips. for the cheese sauce. I thought they were chips. It's on the vegetarian side. We asked our friends mm -hmm. if they had ever had one before, because they've gone to the Indian buffet. Many, many times in many different places. Never. Never, have never had, tried had it Papadon. before. We're like, well, you never gotta try once. it. How did you not even once try Papadon? That's like the first thing I was looking at. Panoogaloo chip. Anyway, it looks like a potato chip. Veggie chip. But it's made out of veggies. Oh, I it think might. So. It probably it is on the vegetarian side of the buffet. There's two sides of the buffet. So try it. And what did you think of it? I thought it was good. Mm -hmm. It was a little similar to things I've had it's, before, but a little different. It looks like a chip, but it really doesn't taste like a chip because it's lighter. I don't think it's made out of like corn or chips like they're made it's up here like or potatoes. It's like a crisp. It's like a crisp. Like a and munchos or a Pringle. It was kind of like, what Indian food is so rich in flavor, so spiced up. This had like no really spices in it. It was kind of It like, was a lighter, vegetable kind of flavor. Also on the vegetarian side, take a look as Puno, how do you I think it's Panugaloo. Panugaloo. You liked that, didn't you? You were surprised. Yeah. They, our friends told us to try this. They'd had it before. And it's almost like these little crispy nuggets. They said there's spinach and onion and stuff Different in there. Different vegetables in it. Spiced up. They were spicy. A little bit, but it kind of tastes like an onion ring. And it had good flavor. It, it did. had a good flavor. So, yeah. Also on the vegetarian side, they had an okra fry. I did not try this. I do not I've like had okra, okra before. I don't like it. I've I know it. it's I not like it. my favorite okra. One thing is, it was very spicy. Was it? I yeah. actually got some of that fried okra. Mmm, that's spicy. 
is it though. is it's it real spicy I like the okra fry was very spicy i didn't and which i enjoyed the flavor and all that i don't like the texture of okra i don't like yeah. the texture it's kind of mushy in your mouth biryani biryani so they had a vegetarian version biryani and then a chicken biryani on the non-vegetarian yeah. side i tried the chicken biryani i didn't try I the did vegetable too. i assumed that they were similar one just had mm -hmm. chicken in it this is what i thought this is a dish on itself. When I first scooped the, the biryani, I did the chicken. And then I thought I had to put sauce on top. <laughs> so I put something on top and, and like our friends were like laughing at me. Like, no, that's supposed to be eaten by... Let's get to the sauces here Let's in a minute. Let's get to the sauces because we tried mostly... I mean, we like our meat, we especially do. chicken. So we tried mostly like the, the non vegetarian chicken dishes stuff. and things. So we had the chicken tiki sauce. Tika. Tika. Very good. We put it in this little dish. They had these little metal dishes uh -huh. and we thought, oh, that's for to put the sauce in. And when you get the nan and everything, you dip it in there. And they were kind of looking what? at us too, like you're not supposed to do that. But Charette said, it's cool. We're One thing you noted though about the sauces, when we make a sauce, especially with like a meat in it, mm -hmm. it has a lot of meat. You even noted yes. and I was like, you're right. The sauces that we had there, very little meat, mostly so, sauce. mostly sauce. Because of that, I thought, okay, you got the white rice, you got the biryani. That's supposed to soak up the sauce. Like, you're but from New Orleans, nan, isn't is that how they do down there? I think the nan is, that's how my friends were eating it. They had the sauce, but they were just dipping the or naan. Pretty whatever, much nan, every nan, bite, they and, say, you use the nan as like, and you scoop you up the scoop, sauce. You push it against it, and, and you, you scoop, scoop up it the sauce. My white rice, I put this... Uh, Gangora okay. chicken. That was very good too. It was super spicy. Very spicy. Super spicy. My mouth was burning, <coughs> but I thought the flavor was delicious. If it was not so spicy, because my nose was running, my mouth was burning, that would have been was, my favorite dish. It was very good. Of course, they had the tandoori chicken. Tandoori chicken. Like we've had before. Yes. Another thing, yes, the chili chicken that we had. Which our friends said they normally don't have out. They mix it up, you mm -hmm. know, so there's always something different. But that's the first time they had the chili chicken. Yeah. Now, out of all the dishes, that's besides, your favorite. Well, it, it was my favorite. Very, very good. It went when with I first, all the rices. It went with everything. When I first got the chicken rice, what was that called? Chicken biryani. Biryani. biryani I put the chili chicken on top. It was the one I put on top, and that's when they were like, "Oh, that's supposed to be rice." I itself. did later get the white rice. Mm -hmm. I put that chili chicken on it, mm -hmm. and then I got some of the Gogan's the Gongora sauce. Oh, you mixed it. I made he my did a own whole dish. Mix. He I did his like, own little mix there because this I get a lot of chicken, and then I get the sauce in there, and then the rice to soak it all up. It was very. Right, so the next one we were going to talk about is the goat korma. Korma. And usually in the U.S. we're afraid of things like if you goat. Like, I we mean, we have goat. cheeses like goat cheese. Some people eat. I don't even but like still, goat cheese. People are a little afraid. You hear goat, they're like, "What? We don't eat goat. We only eat goat. Goats like no, no." So, but we saw the goat. Bill corn. was the first one to go up and, and try it. Bill. Our friend. Uh huh. And he came back with a piece that he thought was goat, and it was mostly bone. Oh, and it gristle. was like a piece of bone. That's it was right. Like goat knuckles or something. <laughs> goat. This is goat. Is the goat? That's, well, why don't you think you have maybe? Uh, are you sure all the pieces are? It's all bones. Is it bone? Yeah. And he's like, I don't even think I got any meat on this one. Uh -huh. But he was able to take off a little piece, and they sampled it, and they yeah. tried it, and it wasn't bad. So when I went up, I got mostly the sauce. These dishes are so spicy, you can't eat a lot. Usually America buffets is where Americans go and just pig out on food. Eat as much as you can till you walk out and can barely walk but out. But a lot like of that stuff. food is bland. and you can Right. But these heavy spices, you can't eat. Uh, after my second plate, I didn't even finish. I was just mm -hmm. like, it was too much. And then we had dessert. I hit record. So here are the cool cakes. This is the Black Forest, which is probably like my favorite. I liked it so far. Cause and then, but it both were good. Like the chocolate, I thought was delicious. And then over here we had the mango. What did you? Is the mango your favorite? I <laughs> There's still some desserts. I would like to try that there I have There is some. I know you want to try the pistachio cookie. So as, <laughs> after dinner, a lot of times here, they'll give you a mint. Peppermint's supposed to like soothe your stomach if you're too full. Help you, your breath. Help you digest. Well, there, they have kind of a licorice fennel seeds kind of fennel thing. Fennel seeds taste like licorice. That much? Is, is that, that too much? much? No, that's little. Mm -hmm. that's, that's a little bit? Yeah. Oh. In my mouth, mm -hmm. freshening and... I think a part of that is because of all the spicy, spicy foods that's a, a, a 
cleanses the palate. It freshens everything up, and it mm -hmm. makes the water taste cool and sweet. Yeah, yeah. It was good. So that was our time at the Indian Buffet, and we'd like to go back, see our friend Charette. We're going to be back, India. Charette. And because We're our try friends, other cool cakes. Well, our friends also tell us there's different things on the menu uh, every at time different you go. times. Yeah, so, so we've got to try, we gotta different, try stuff. different stuff. All right, but that's our time at the buffet. Thanks Till next for time, y'all. Bye, y'all.